Alright, so it's Christmas Eve. We're going to Magic Kingdom, and I had to be festive. I had to dress up. Like, why? Yeah, why? Do it. why? <laughs> I, I don't get it. Yeah. So, I'm wearing Christmas pajamas. I have a onesie on. It's super long, so I tucked it into my socks because the pants are very long. Very long. Oh, gosh. What is that? What does it say? Thank you for your letter. Christmas will be here soon. Remember <gasps> to leave out cookies for Santa and carrots for Rudolph. <gasps> Absolutely freezing. I didn't wear anything under the onesie because I asked my mom. She's the Floridian. She knows if I, you know, depending on the weather, if I'm going to be hot or cold and what I should wear. So I thought. But I definitely should have worn something under this because I'm absolutely freezing. One of the Disney security guards was just like, wow, you look so comfortable. I was like, comfortable, not warm. Tricked ya. It's deceiving. It doesn't look so packed. I feel like it was worse last year. I don't know. Maybe it's the time. Maybe everyone's already inside. I didn't even have to use my finger. Okay, so far, it's still not bad. We're inside the park. Not terrible. What a gloomy Christmas Eve <laughs> in the Magic Kingdom. So now it's raining. It'll it'll snow later. But um it's raining. No, I'm trying to be funny. Uh, don't do that. Thank you, bye. <laughs> I had to put my hood on. Mommy's got my Santa hat on, so she's fine. Ow! Popcorn bucket hit me. Sorry. We have two o'clock reservations at the Diamond Horseshoe. It's one 10 now, so we're just gonna head over there because the parade comes again at 3 o'clock and we wanted to make the parade, but if we sit down and eat at 2, there's no way we're gonna make that. It's starting to rain a lot, so I'm gonna stop now. Bye. Hey, you get one for Morgan? Say thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Oh! <laughs> Aww. He's so nice and warm, that's why. Yeah, right? <laughs> Okay, don't hug him up. There's people waiting. Ah, he gave me this. <laughs> I love it. Oh, look, he's, he's rubbing it on. Don't you have to okay, Eric? Smile. Ready? We're going to see if we can go eat early. Oh, no. Come on. Doorman Eric. really wasn't that bad today that was a lie the bathroom lines couldn't even give you an estimated wait time they go so far down and around every corner so now I'm going to Fantasyland I'm trying to go towards the Rapunzel bathrooms because I figured those were set back a little more not a lot of people know that there's bathrooms over there even though that's really that's all that's over there it doesn't look as bad it's definitely long it doesn't wrap around the building six times okay so this is the line it's not terrible but uh, it's definitely bad but it's not as long as the other one so it's fine all I have to say is I can't wait to be in Epcot tomorrow where the park is so much bigger and everything is so much more spread out and the bathroom lines hopefully won't be this long. There's so many people
Pop celebration.
walked through this gate, went down the stairs, went around the corner. <laughs> so we found out that down here is handicap because it's a ramp. This guy discovered it. <laughs> so now we're down here. Boat. We haven't done this boat ride in so long because it was closed for a while, so we're finally doing it again. <laughs> Close it! <laughs> Coming! This guy wants to go straight to the top. No! One more flight. Where do you want to go? Last call, you're all cargo. We get to all the top of the castle. Oh, wow. We're moving. We're moving. Out. He's waving to everyone. <laughs> We're going right by Splash Mountain. Look at that. What a view. There's nobody on Tomsor's Island. Now we're passing Thunder Mountain. It was my stomping grounds when I was young. They oh, there it is. Young. Marvelously young. Young by hundreds of years. Yep. It's the last trading outpost before we head into Indian country. This is not zoomed in whatsoever. We are so close to Big Thunder Mountain. Here's the back of it. Like, 
This guy's literally just smoking a cigarette. The guy's like, no, like you can't smoke anywhere in the park. Like there's not even smoking sections. Like you can't do it anywhere. I've never seen anything like that in my entire life. Yeah, and now they just cut us on the line. It's not like one or two people. It's like a whole family of like 17 and a half. So. My nails are red and they're turning pink. <laughs> Look at my nails. What? No, I'm not you, Peter Pan. I've definitely seen it worse on I think New Year's Day. This is the most room I've had to walk all day. All day. Look at this. No one's around me. Wow. Ooh, ooh. What? Oh, dance. Go, 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 go. Go, Eric, go. This is following me. The line for the carousel goes all the way around. Enchanted Tales with Belle is 85 minutes. Put the crayons in there? Yeah, that's, cool. that's the Beauty and the Beast castle, right? No, it's the Beast castle. So we tried to go mine train, but we're too early. Our fast pass is like 5.45 and it's like 5.20. So then after mine train, we have Buzz, but I think we might have a little time before Buzz, so we might try and go on the people mover. Someone likes that idea. So we're supposed to go on mine train, but it was too early. <laughs> You're in. You're in. <laughs> He's not excited. Not Eric. We got last row. Ready? We're going down. I won the last row. No one behind us. Three, two, one. Bianca and she has the coolest ears ever. They light up, they're Lilo and Stitch and they're Christmas and she has a whole bunch of Stitch pins. Look at all of these, oh my gosh. She even gave Eric a pin, let me see. He has a little hula skirt on, that is so cute. That was just so sweet. I did not expect her to give Eric a pin. That was. She was like, that's what Disney's all about. I have a son. Like, oh, she was just so nice. We exchanged Instagram. We're gonna stay in contact. So sweet. Hi guys, it's mom and dad. And we're having dinner. We kind of finished. Everyone's kind of like, you know, we're done. <laughs> and we decided we're gonna call NORAD because it's time. NORAD is the place to call to track Santa and see where he is around the country. So we are going to call now and see what part of the country he's in. So let's see. Okay, so we're about to call NORAD. We have the number up, ready to go. You ready? Let's see if we can hear Thanks for calling the NORAD Track Santa Operations Center. All of our Santa trackers are currently online with other colors. We'll have to call back. Why, there goes that. 
giving it another go. Round two. Bianca just came back to our table and she found another pin that she wanted to give Eric. It's a 2020 Walt Disney World stitch pin that has fireworks. I've never even seen this one before. Buzz Lightyear. All the dessert we could possibly eat, and then we go over to the fast pass viewing area for the fireworks, and we get to watch the fireworks. And it's Christmas Eve. So the fireworks start, so I'm just gonna sit here until the fireworks actually start. And yeah. my hot chocolate.
Okay, look at all of the firework pieces that are all over the poncho that we were sitting on. Sorry. Christmas Eve is coming to an end, which means that Santa comes soon. So right now we need to go back to the hotel, we need to put on our pajamas and go to sleep because Santa comes tonight and he's not gonna come unless we're sleeping. So we need to go home and we need to go to sleep so that he can leave us lots and lots of presents. So we called Norad when we were at the dessert party and it was super loud and we could barely even hear them so I didn't record it. But we asked where he was at like probably 9.30 and he was on his way to Canada. We asked him what time he was coming to Disney World and they said anywhere between 9 and 12. But then she said that he won't come unless we're sleeping. So... I guess this is your photo pass picture. We just walked by an ambulance that's right there, and the EMT that was in the front seat literally had Mickey ears on. Riviera, number 12. The bus line isn't long, so either that means we missed it or. Wow! The second we get here, the bus pulls up. The same exact happens us we were on our way here we were running to the bus and the second we got to the bus stop literally the first bus that pulled up as soon as we were walking up to the bus stop was the magic kingdom bus all right so the bus was actually just dropping people off we didn't get on the bus okay now the bus is really here let's see if he lets us on the sprinklers are on I'm hoping that these lights will be like an extra like Santa come here like you know please <laughs> 